So really quick, I do go over this in the course, but I thought it might be worth um, putting this into a separate video so I could just kind of give it its own little space to live in. I want to talk about importing tracks into your session, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to take a different song of mine that um, I'm working on, and I've got an instrumental track right here, and somebody did vocals for me. Another singer did vocals for me, right? And so they're, they're not in my session. I'm going to pull those in. And so maybe you hire someone to do vocals, or a friend does them for you, or they do background vocals, or this could even apply to an instrumentalist that did like guitar parts or a piano player. You get my point. So what I've done is I've taken those vocals and I've actually, they're right here on my desktop. So I'm going to open up that folder and I'm going to grab them all. I'm going to hit shift and I'm, that selects them all. And I'm just going to pull them into the session like so. And then it's going to say, it's going to give me an option and I'm going to choose create new tracks. And now all my vocals are pulled in and I can just treat, I can just move on as normal as though I had attracted them in my own session, but you've actually imported them from an, another location to add to that. Um, so that you are always, what happens sometimes is that your computer forgets where it puts things. So whenever I do that, I like to make sure that I keep this folder, which is those vocals in the same folder as my session. So for example, I haven't uh, saved this to a folder yet. So let's do that together. I'm going to go save as I'm going to say vocals, and then I'm going to put that on my external drive, which is called sessions. And I'm going to say save, right? So now I'm going to look in my sessions drive. I'm going to look for the title vocals, which is the track we just did. And here's my logic session, which is where I'm in right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab these vocals in this folder and I'm going to pull it in so that they're there right next to the session, right along with all the other things that go into the session. And then that way, first of all, it's great for your organization on your end, but also whenever Logic goes to look for those files, it, it will not ever have to think about it because it'll already be in your Logic folder. So this should save you a, a ton of time and stress. I've actually had Logic kind of wig out on me before and it'll show me blank files. And it, basically what happened was I pulled some files into the session and then either deleted them or put them somewhere else. And then there was like wires getting crossed. So I found that this is the most efficient way when you're importing external files, just pull them into your actual folder of your session, which is why I have you save your session as a folder to begin with. Okay, cool.